All right, so in the last video, we did the posts and categories, inner pages. Now we're going to do the comments and users, which are going to be very similar to posts and categories. So I'm going to copy everything that's on the post page. Actually, I think a better idea would be to copy everything in the categories page. And one thing I forgot is in the categories HTML. I just want to change this to categories as well as this class name. This should be section categories. All right, so we'll save that and then we'll just copy everything here and then let's go to our comments HTML and paste that in. All right, we're going to go to the top and change the active class from categories. Change that to comments. Okay, then we'll go down, change this to comments. and section comments and the title and then as far as the content here we're going to have the image of the person that that created the comment so uh, we're actually not going to have uh, we're not going to have a t head area so we can, we're going to get rid of that we're just going to have the t body And then what I'll do is leave just one table row and get rid of the rest. So down to here. So now we just have one table row. And this first TD, this first column is going to be the user image, but I'm going to set a width here of 70. Okay, I want it to be a certain size. And then we'll put in an image tag and we're going to give it a class of responsive dash img as well as a class of circle. Okay, now the source is going to be img slash person1.jpg. Okay, we're using the same images. And let's see, I think that should actually we're going to add some inline style as well because I want it to be pushed over a little bit and the size I want to set the width to 40 pixels. So with 40 pixels and then margin left, we'll add some margin to the left, let's say 10 pixels. Okay, and then the next TD is going to be the comment. So I'm just going to do like 10 words. We'll say lorem 10 tab. And let's see, the next TD is going to be a check, a check icon. and a close or an x icon wrapped in a link. So the link for this one, let's give it a class of green text. Oops, it's not going to actually do anything. If you want to add the toast functionality like we did on the dashboard, you can do that if you want. Um uh, in here we'll have an icon Oops, that should be a dash. And then this is going to be the done. And then what what I'll do is copy this. And then this next one is going to have a class of red text and the icon will be close. Okay. So let's copy, let's save that and then let's go to comments. And there we go. So there we have one row. Let's copy this TR, the whole thing. copy that and we'll paste in three more and then we'll change up the images so we have person 1 person 2 3 and 4 and save and there we go so there's our comments page all right so now we're going to move to the users actually let's just finish let's let's see if we have anything else uh we just want to get rid of the fixed action and the modal because there's no actual add comment functionality. So we'll save that. All right. So now let's copy categories again, the whole thing. And then let's go to users and paste that in. And we'll go up to the top, we'll change the active class from categories to users. Oops. 
Okay, and then let's see down here. We'll change this to users. I know this can get tedious, guys. Change that. When it's the same layout and just different content, it's it gets very tedious. So let's see, what do we want for users? We're going to want the name. Uh, well, we're going to want the image first of all. So for the first TH, I'm going to leave it blank. And then the next one will be the name. And then the next one will be the email. And then let's do a register date. I'll just say registered. And the last one we're going to leave blank. Okay, so then down here, let's leave one table row and get rid of the rest. And for the image, what I'm going to do is copy from the comments table row that has the image because it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to grab one of these TDs. We'll grab person one actually. And then put that here for the first TD. Actually, I'll just get rid of all those. So I'll paste that in for the first TD. All right. And then the next one is going to be the name. Next one, email. Then we have the registered date. And then we have the details link. Let's do BTN blue lighten dash two. And that's going to actually go to details.html. All right, so now what we'll do is copy the table row and let's do four users. So two, three, four. And then we'll just change up the content. So the second one is going to be person two. And for the name, we'll say Larry. Waters and let's see, email will be L Waters registration. We'll say January 3rd. All right, next one. It actually is going to be person three. Person three, and then this will be, let's say, Susan Williams. Susan. Uh, register date and then this last one will be person four and this will be Jeff Burke we'll say J Burke and January 10th all right now we're gonna need a modal for this the user modal so let's um, let's change this right here to user modal and then change actually we'll just get rid of this category modal and we'll copy the user one from the index so we'll paste that there and then that should be good so let's save it let's go to our users page and oh, we forgot the text in the details button Details and this one. All right. So there we go. There's our users. We have the image, the name, email, registered date. So that's good. We click this button and we get the add user. All right. So in the next video, we're going to get to the login page and possibly the details page. We'll see if we can get them both done in the same video. If not, we'll just split them up. And then we should be done. All right. So I will see you in the next lecture.